Hi, I wanted to provide a quick video showing everyone how to create their digital poster using PowerPoint. Simply open a new blank presentation and then you're going to go ahead and change the design. So click on the design tab at the top and then over on the top right hand side go to slide size. Here we're going to choose a custom size and the correct size for us is 1920 wide by 1080 tall in pixels. So we're going to choose custom, but PowerPoint actually defaults to inches. So this is actually 20 inches wide by 11.25 inches tall. That equals the same amount as pixels as inches. So press OK. This changes the canvas size of your PowerPoint slide to work for the digital posters. So next you'll go back to home and you're going to go to layout. So here we're going to choose a blank template. So this will be a blank canvas for you to start creating your poster. And I'll quickly show you here how to save. So real quick, I like to go to save, go to save as and browse. Choose the folder for your poster to be saved in. And then notice this is being saved as a PPTX file extension. This is a PowerPoint file. So we're going to first save it as the poster file. Save that. And then we're also going to save it as a PDF. So here, in case you already have your poster set up in PowerPoint, easily go to Browse. Choose the folder you want to save your poster in. And then here are all the file extensions. So go down and choose PDF and save. So then you'll have your poster saved as a PowerPoint format and also as a PDF. And here's the third option. If you want to save it as a PNG, so you could use it on your website or social media, go to save as and then scroll down to the bottom and PNG. And that's an image extension. So that's how you save your PowerPoint as a PowerPoint, a PDF, or a PNG. Okay, so next let's go ahead and show you how to customize your poster in PowerPoint. So the easiest option is you can insert an image. So here we'll just quickly insert a random image and kind of make up a sample poster. You can next go to insert, and here's the table option. Notice you can scroll over and choose how many wide and how many tall you wanted your table. You can also then move your table or custom fit it to any part of your poster. And then you could edit each one of these fields within the table. So you could put in custom data, you could put in images, you could change the font, the size. Uh, we recommend no smaller than a 20 point font. That way your posters can be read on the mobile devices. Um, it's a lot to be able to zoom in and be able to read text, especially small data. So then you can also customize the look and feel of your table. There's a bunch of pre-made settings in PowerPoint that allow you to match your brand. Uh, here's a couple examples here. We'll find one that matches our blue and black. Okay, and then you can custom fit the table for the part of the poster you want to have it in. Let's go back and insert a couple more images. So here you'll be able to navigate to your folder with the images for your poster. And then you could resize the images. Notice they are layered each row that you add in on top of each other. So then you can customize these and overlay them. One other cool part about PowerPoint is you can go to insert. There's a whole bunch of pre-made shapes and images and Let's go check out charts, since you may have a chart you want to create in PowerPoint. Here's all the types of charts, bar charts, pie charts, some really complex ones. Um, let's go ahead and use this waterfall example. And then you can customize the size and the data set for the chart. So here the data set opens in a spreadsheet. You can easily add in your own data set. You can customize all the labels and accesses for the chart. Here we're going to go ahead and fit it into our poster. Okay, I think it'd have a little better 
size font if we're able to make it the entire width of the poster area here. So we'll move this image on top. You could easily move the chart around. Here you can easily change the title. And you can also change the theme, the colors, the background. Um, you can customize this chart however you want. I like this dark one, matches our theme. Okay, and here's how you also edit the data set. So if you right click on the data on the chart, go to edit data. This brings up the embedded spreadsheet. You can either manually enter your data here or you can copy and paste it into your form. I'll go ahead and move this so you can see how it changes automatically and we'll change the data in the data set here. So notice how the different numbers actually change the chart in real time on your poster. So you may already have an image of the poster or something you could export. If not, here's a way to quickly build an interactive chart in PowerPoint and you could easily export this to a PDF or image for the posters. Okay, I think that's good enough. So then you can close this. Let's go ahead and move our chart down. You could also insert simple text. So if you wanna include headings, um, just go ahead and grab this text box here under insert and you can customize it just like you would in Word. We'll enter a title here. And then you could easily select it all, make it bold, change the font size, the font color, make it match the look and feel of your poster. Now let's go ahead and resize it. You can size the text box. Go ahead and make it big enough to fill the space. You can center it. And then I don't think I like orange, so we're gonna go ahead and easily change the color to black. So anyway, that's a quick summary of how to build a poster using PowerPoint. There's all kinds of cool tools you can insert things. Let's go ahead and remind you how to save. You can quickly go to save as choose the folder, and then this saves it default as a PowerPoint file extension. We'll go ahead and save that. And then quick reminder, file, save as, choose the file type, and here we're gonna choose PDF. Notice the PowerPoint is already in the folder. Select PDF, save. Okay, there it actually opened up the file in PowerPoint automatically. So this is the exact dimensions required for our touch screens and very high resolution. When we're talking about 300 DPI, that's the quality of the images that you need when you upload them to the poster. So PowerPoint will save whatever the resolution is on the image that you upload. So make sure you're only uploading quality images. And here's the last example if you want to export your poster to an image format, we recommend PNG. Choose this just like the PDF, hit save, and you're going to choose just this one slide, or you could even, if you had multiple slides, have them all export as individual images. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any more questions. Thank you.